Hey Java developers, Java 21 is going to be released this week. Let's take a look at the key changes coming in this release. Six Chips will be introducing new functionality in JDK 21. Sequence Collections is a new set of interfaces added to the collections hierarchy for collections with a defined encounter order like ArrayList, Sorted Set, and others. Making tasks like finding the last element or going through a collection in reverse order easier. JEP 439 adds generational capability to the Z garbage collector. To use this, you will need to use the VM arguments plus use ZGC and plus Z generational. Record patterns provide a quick way of extracting data out of a record based on its components. Record patterns can even be nested like in this example. Pattern matching for switch brings the ease and benefits of pattern matching to switch expressions and statements. Record patterns covered in JEP 440 can be included in switch as well. Virtual threads were promoted to a final feature. A long-awaited feature, virtual threads introduce a lightweight thread model to Java that will have profound impacts on concurrency and efficient system resource usage in Java. The Key Encapsulation Mechanism API will play an important role in providing secure ways to encrypt and decrypt communications to and from the JVM. Two JEPs included in JDK relate to deprecating or removing features. The Windows 32-bit x86 port has been deprecated for removal. A warning message will now be displayed when a dynamic agent is loaded. This is in preparation for disallowing dynamic agents by default in the future. Seven JEPs cover preview or incubator features. String templates will make the process of composing complex strings easier than the older ways of using the plus operator, string builder, or string format. JEP 442 brings a foreign function and memory API into third preview, which includes further refinements based on user feedback. JEP 443, unnamed patterns and variables will improve the experience of working with record patterns, particularly records with a lot of components, by allowing developers to use an underscore for components they are not intending to use. JEP 445 is the first of the paving the on-ramp JEPs aimed at making Java easier to learn. As a side effect of these changes, this should improve Java's suitability to writing small utility programs. JEP 446 moves scope values to a preview feature, part of Project Loom, Scope values provide a way to efficiently share values across virtual threads. Vector API moves to 6 incubator. Note that Vector API will remain in incubator status pending Project Valhalla. Structured Concurrency, also part of Project Loom, aims at improving the experience of breaking down a unit of work into tasks that can be executed concurrently. Happy coding!